Stop wasting hours animating cameras in After Effects. With one click, Camera 3D Toolkit Pro builds your rig and delivers smooth parallax, cinematic depth of field, auto animations, dynamic shakes, and more. In this video, I'll guide you step by step through every feature with real examples. Stay until the end. The most powerful feature comes last, and the download link is the first link in the description. Installation Guide After downloading the plugin package, you'll find three important files, User Manual PDF, a complete guide that explains all the features, README file, step-by-step -step installation instructions plus support contacts, ZXP extension file, the file you'll actually install in After Effects. Before starting, make sure After Effects is closed. The installation is really simple. Just grab the ZXP file from the package and drag and drop it into your ZXP installer panel. A download link for a free ZXP installer is included in the README file. Once the installation is done, reopen After Effects, go to Window, Extensions, Camera 3D, Toolkit Pro. The panel will open and you can dock it anywhere, resize it as you like, and it stays fully responsive. Now let's take a look at what this plugin can do. Quick setup example. I'll start with a few flat layers in my composition. By clicking on Quick Button, the plugin instantly converts all selected layers to 3D, spaces them evenly on the the Z axis, creates a camera, adds a null controller, parents the camera to the null for easy control. The setup button creates a clean rig without spacing or parenting, giving you full manual control. The reset button clears everything and lets you start fresh in one click. Spacing controls, next, let's adjust spacing. With the sliders, I can spread my layers closer or farther apart along any axis. On the Z axis, push layers forward or backward in 3D space, and that's what allows you to create a parallax effect. Effect. On the X or Y axis, spread layers horizontally or vertically. To be more precise, you can type a value directly into the text field. For example, 5000 pixels to space the layers far apart or 500 pixels to bring them closer. This makes it extremely easy to build 3D scenes quickly. When I click on random, the layers are placed randomly inside the composition. You can control the amount of random spacing using the distance slider D. And with random rotation, it works the same way, but this time the layers are also rotated at different random angles. Now here's where the real magic happens. Automatic camera movements. This section gives you access to all the main movements a real camera can do. Pan, tilt, roll, plus all the traveling moves. Let's break it down. Pan. Click the left arrow and the camera does a smooth 25 degree panoramic move to the left. Click the right arrow, same thing but to the right. Tilt. Move the camera up or down with a single button. Roll. Rotate the camera for dramatic twisting effects. And to be more precise, you can use the sliders next to each control or even type the exact angle into the text field. That way you're not limited. You can go from a subtle 15 degree move to a full 360 spin if you want. Now for traveling movements, vertical traveling up or down, horizontal traveling left or right, forward and backward. These create straight line camera moves without any rotation, perfect for cinematic pushes, slides, or crane-like shots. In the movement section, you'll see two important controls. T, time. By default, it's set to two seconds, meaning your in and out keyframes are always spaced evenly at two seconds. You can increase it to four or more if you want slow, motion, piece, distance. This slider controls how far the camera travels. Slide it up and the camera covers more distance. Every single single move you trigger here creates automatic, perfectly smooth keyframes. You don't even need to add easing, the plugin does it for you. Now let's move on to one of the most impressive features and really the strength of this plugin, the target button. This button lets you create animations in just one click. Here's a simple example. I have five text layers but this could be anything. Logos, shapes, images, you name it. Imagine I want to reveal each text one by one, almost like a list. Here's how easy it is. First, I select the text I want the camera to focus on, then I click target. I move my playhead where I want the next animation to start. Select the second text and click target again. I repeat the process for the other layers. In just a few clicks, I've created a smooth sequence where the camera automatically moves from one text to the next. And here's the magic part. When I combine this with depth of field, each text comes into focus while the others blur out, giving me that cinematic parallax effect. You can use this feature for photo slideshow shows, logo animations, product showcases, or even storytelling sequences.
Let me take another example, this time with layers rotated at different angles. You'll notice that when I use target, the animation is calculated so the camera always faces the front side of the selected layer. But if you don't want that automatic front facing movement, you can simply use the look at button instead. This way, the camera will move naturally without forcing the rotation of the layers. Now let's move on to another feature that is incredibly powerful overlap keys. Normally, when you want to animate a scene with ultra smooth movements across several layers, you'd have to create multiple cameras or nulls, parent each null to the next, add keyframes on every null, then offset all those keyframes manually. Even with just three layers, this becomes tedious and time consuming. But here, you only need one click. By clicking overlap keys button, the plugin does all the work for you. It calculates how many keyframes are needed, creates the exact number of nulls, parents each null to the previous one, generates keyframes, and automatically offsets them to create that beautiful overlapping motion. Is done instantly without any manual effort, focus, and DOF. This section is incredible because it gives you automatic autofocus in After Effects. All you have to do is adjust the blur and aperture sliders, and the plugin takes care of everything. Layers close to the camera stay perfectly sharp, layers further away gradually blur out, and the focus automatically shifts as the camera moves. It instantly creates that cinematic depth of field look you normally only see in real camera lenses. There's also the opacity slider, OP, which lets you reduce the opacity of layers based on their distance from the camera, just like the focus, but with visibility. This is perfect for transitions or to guide the viewer's eye directly to the subject. Speed and map. This section is extremely powerful because you can use it to animate almost anything. Google Maps, diagrams, even a screen recording for a tutorial. Here's an example with Google Maps. I start with a simple screenshot of the map. I click on map and the plugin creates a null controller. Then I just move the null to the location I want. Let's say New York and click target. I repeat the same steps for other cities and the camera automatically animates between them. To make the movement even smoother, I can click on SR to scale and reposition or adjust the size with the slider. And here's the best part. With just one click on 3D Trace, the plugin generates an animated path that follows the camera movement, perfect for showing routes, flight paths, or any kind of guided animation. Camera Shake. The camera shake section lets you instantly add realistic shake effects to your animation. You have more than 20 presets available from subtle handheld motion to intense earthquake effects. You can fine tune the look by adjusting the amplitude, the strength of the shake and the frequency, how often it shakes. Once you're happy, just click apply and the movement is added automatically. The download link is in the description. And right now, the plugin is available at a special promo price. So make sure to grab it while it lasts. Thank you so much for watching watching this video. I hope you liked it. If that's the case, don't forget to like the video, share it with your friends who might be interested, and subscribe to the channel for more content. And don't forget to join our Telegram group for exclusive tips. See you in the next